Oh my god, what a round. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're about to start our Murphy bracket as part of Super Slash Bros. number 8, but we will get started right after these messages from your local station. Fuck you, Baltimore! If you're dumb enough to buy a new car this weekend, you're a big enough schmuck to come to Big Bill Hell's car! Bad deal! Cars that break down! Thieves! If you think you're gonna find a bargain at Big Bill, you can kiss my ass! It's our belief that you're such a stupid motherfucker! You'll fall for this bullshit! Guaranteed! If you find a better deal, shove it up your ugly ass! You heard us right! Shove it up your ugly ass! Bring your tray! Bring your title! Bring your wife! We'll fuck her! That's right, we'll fuck your wife! Because at Big Bill Hell, you're fucked six ways from Sunday! Take a hike to Big Bill Hell! Oh my Challenge pissing. That's right, challenge pissing. How does it work? If you can piss six feet in the air straight up and not get wet, you get no down payment. Don't wait, don't delay, don't fuck with us or we'll rip your nuts off. Only at Big Bill Hell, the only dealer that tells you to fuck off. Hurry up, asshole. This event ends the minute after you write us a check. And it better not bounce or you're a dead motherfucker. Go to hell. Big Bill Hell's car. All the more filthiest and exclusive home of the meanest sons of bitches in the state of Maryland. Guaranteed. Huh? What? Tails? Watch out! You're gonna crash! Warning, ah! warning, warning, warning. This disc is only for use. This disc is only for use. This disc is only for use. Only for use on Sega Dreamcast. Sega Dreamcast. Sega Dreamcast. Only for use on Sega Dreamcast. Oh yeah! This is happening! Prepare yourself for the sixth installment of the Poverty FGC's largest charity tournament series. It's Alex Alchemy's Charity Thing 6. Full week of non-stop gaming action, with over 30 tournaments, panels, special presentations, fresh music, and more. Make true love in Capcom vs. SNK 2. Get back on that bullshit blazing with Guilty Gear Strive. Flex your culinary skill in Sushi Bar. Witness the brand new Street Fighter 6. Witness the two decade old Sam Show 6. And of course, let us take you for a ride in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Why play one game when you can play two? It's the Street Fighter Double Impact Double Header, where the winner's bracket is Street Fighter 3 New Generation, and the loser's bracket is Second Impact. Don't lose, or you'll go to Sean Hell before you die. Speaking of Mario, make history with the first ever Super Mario Brothers 3 Tournament. And you don't even have to hitchhike to California. But enough Mario, Sega does what Nintendo don't. And that's why Alex and Butler are putting on the Sonic Triple Trouble Saturday Showdown. First, we have an open bracket in popular fan game, Ultimate Sonic Smash. Before the dust can even settle, Butler and Alex take to Resort Island for a Sonic R first to 10. Fun doesn't stop there, oh no. Saturday nights, we separate the blue hedgehogs from the fakers. It's Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Throughout the week, enjoy commentary from famous special guests. Kamuin, Actual Jake, and Vicky Viper return for more action. And are joined by new challengers. Fighting streamer, Yasi. Unsatisfied airport customer, James Chen. And the guru himself, Larry Bundy Jr. With more to be announced soon. Of course, if you're having too much fun, you can always tune into the World Gameplay Reveal of Visionary Genius Neil Smugnet, The Worst of Gods Part 2 Part 1, the remake of Visionary Genius Neil Smugman's The Worst of Guys Part 2. Join famous The Worst of Guys Unpaid Shill, Sony Cum Guzzler, 
Floyd Flynn, voice actor Scrunch Jackson, and visionary genius Neil Smugman as they show off their next AstroTurfed mega product for the very first time. Then after that, we've got the 4P Catastrophe, where 16 players split into 8 teams of 2 and compete in Melty Blood Act Cadenza's 2v2 4-player simultaneous mode, Neko Arcs only. It's a gonna get hairy as these pussies pound each other to determine who will be crowned Meow Monarchs in this exciting invitational tournament. And we've barely even scratched the surface, ladies and gents. All proceeds from the event benefit charity! The madness starts October 9th. Go to drbutlerevents.com and follow Butler's Revenge on Twitter to keep up to date with every announcement, donate to the charity pool, and register to play in. Alex Alchemist Charity Thing 6, New Age of Kusoge. Hurry up and register before Alex adds Dynamics to the schedule. Something fresh yet familiar? Looking for something paradoxically old and new? Looking for something deranged, down to earth, and completely unreasonably sane? Well, I'm Todd Mallard, the fraudulent foul, and this is Fraud TV, where the 90s never ended. 24 hours of non stop late night TV, just for you. There's indie music videos, anime, fever dream broadcasting, the kind of surreal shit that unearths the nostalgic feeling of eating a box of Cheez-Its while stoned at 3 a.m. Hey, Jerry, remember the street? <laughs> this piece is what all true warriors strive for. Give us pizza! Mini bird kick! <sighs> ah! You bastard! Fighting game anime show. You really are my brother! So take a trip back to Y2K with Rock TV. You can't stop me. Ah, oh, this won't do. Alrighty, it's time! Hello, everyone, and welcome to Super Slash Brothers Numero Ocho. This is the eighth one. This is me and Toast Riders monthly thing where we do monthly things like hosting a Sam Show bracket, Rivals of Viver, and a bonus third game. How are you everyone doing here, too? Yo, Blue Minder! Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Melee Gaming Cult. Thank you so much for the follow, dude. Really appreciate it. Yo, shout out to Blue Minder. For doing all the hard work for Flyguys. How are you guys doing here today? I'm a bit tired from yesterday's local, mentally, of course, but 
That doesn't mean we're gonna get some uh, Murphite action out of the way, because yes, that is right, guys. Welcome to the 8th edition of Meet and Toast Riders Monthly, which you guys don't know. It's basically a thing that we do on the last Sunday of each month, where we basically play a Samurai Showdown bracket, a uh, Rivals of Fever bracket, and of course a bonus third game that rotates each month. I thought I wrote it right. I'm actually surprised you didn't follow like all this time, especially from the last time that you were here, which was basically the CBS2 bracket, but no worries. At, at least you corrected that uh, very unfortunate mistake, I might add, but with that being said, welcome, welcome. As you guys can tell, the bonus game for the month of July is going to be Murphite, which if you guys don't know, is a game made by Matrified Games. It's basically a underwater based uh, fighting game featuring all your favorite fishes. So uh, what better way to let you know more about this game than some of my good, fr than my good friend uh, Mohas Gridlock, which should be here in the chat. Uh, hello, Matrified, you're live. Feel free to introduce yourself. In the meantime, Kale Basting, Kale Basting, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Melee Gaming Cult. Thanks so much for the follow. All right, look like looks like Mohas is dead. So uh, looks like he'll be back here in just a bit. But if you guys don't know, uh, this is gonna be a very interesting bracket because thanks to Matrified Games, I am not live. Powered. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate, uh, Matt. Uh, that. I, I hope you get your power soon, because I was wondering if you were actually going to compete. Damn. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'm not sure where Mohas Gridlock is. Because uh, he can better introduce this game more than I can. Uh, but Matrified, if you want, feel free to join in the VC chat uh, for commentary. Alright, but with that being said, uh, let's take a look at the bracket here real quick. I believe we have it live. Hola amigo, sorry oh, about there you are. <laughs> yeah, 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 you were calling for Matrified, so I was like, I'll let it, I'll let it rock. Oh no, I that was that was that was, okay, that, okay. that was that was that was that was the wrong <laughs> person with the with the letter M. My, my apologies. Yeah, no, it's all good. It's all good. Hey, so what's up, folks? Thank you for joining, uh, and obviously thank you for Alex and uh, Toast and all the other folks involved in this. You know, to to pick Murphy as part of this uh, tournament series. I really appreciate that. Um. Murphite is a early access fighting game currently on Steam as well as itch.io and Game Jolt. It has 12 playable fighters, um, more stages than your body has room for, um, plenty of different features and uh, modes like challenge, uh, challenge modes, uh, what is it, punish challenges, combo challenges, uh, soon to be lore challenges if you're into trivia. There's also story mode that Matt is currently working on. Um, online rollback, 20 some player lobbies, um, you know, servers in all, all, basically all across the globe. If you want to play this game, Matt has done everything in his power to make it accessible for you. Uh, and I guess that being said, it is all about fish people. I didn't even mention that. It's the game with fish people. Everything's about so, the fish, which is why if yeah, you take a look at go. the at the bracket, we have the KOF like like the the aquarium because this is all oh, fish related. Yeah. Oh, hey Butler, feel free to introduce yourself. Yeah, what's up? This is Doctor Butler from Frog Crew. Uh, we just recently launched our excellent new twenty four hour TV station on Twitch. Frog Crew Television, maybe you heard of it. But don't worry about it right now, because we got a Murphite bracket, followed by a Rivals bracket, followed by a Sam Show bracket. It is a stacked night, so if you love fighting games, you're in the right fucking place. Let's go, baby. That's right, if you put in exclamation point SSB, you're going to get the challenge page for all of today's action, as we mentioned to before. Today, right now, so we're going to be doing Murphite, but at 6, no, I'm sorry, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to be doing Rivals of Ether base cast, especially in practice for an upcoming event this October, as well as we're going to take it, and then at 8.30, uh, Toast Rider will be doing a surf for some Sam Show 6, so if you guys are interested, then please be sure to type in SSB in the chat, well, exclamation point SSB in the chat, don't forget about that, and you will to yeah. register. Now, before we actually start, uh... Let me get this out of the way, because you mentioned Mat Matrified. He isn't here right now, but I want you to take a look at this shit. Look at this fucking shit. 
Oh, hell yeah. Look at this! Oh my god, so <clears throat> this is probably like the biggest price we've ever had for a bracket in Super Slash Bros history. What do you feel about that, uh, Mohas? I mean, I just have to give a shout out to Matt. I mean, they've been a huge proponent of the community. You know, they're very busy on a lot of different projects, but they're always, they always take time to join the community in these kind of things if they can. And when they can't, at least support the community and the events that they bring out. So I always appreciate Matt. Um, great developer, great community manager, person, you know, they're awesome. God damn. And fun fact, people can actually contribute more to that. So if you press in Matt Chirino in the chat, you're able to increase that price pool. I have to figure out the rate for like first, second, and third. That's going to be an interesting one. Multiplexing, Frogger TV, and Alex Alchemist, as you should. Bay -bay. Hell yeah. Shout out to Blue Minder for that one. All right. Now. Uh, without wasting any more time, let's just jump right into it. That is the wrong slide. There we go, because first up is actually going to be between a moi, Alex Alchemy, and I believe a Rave Coon. Let's just check the bracket. Okay. Just to make sure. <clears throat> it's going to be a good one. Uh, okay, I have two seconds. Yeah, it's me and Rave Coon. So here's how nice. we're going to do things. All matches will be first to three, and we can just stream all the matches. So if any, everyone can come into the same... Um, Butler, are you okay? Oh no, I'm really just laughing because I'm just laughing because you said the funny Butler word. What? <laughs> yeah, you said come. You know, you know, I'm a I'm a juvenile man child, and I'm Shut gonna laugh every time you say mouth, come. Butler, well, then don't say funny words in front of me. Let me just fucking serenade this ass real quick. <laughs> don't worry, people. This is normal. Yeah, no, this is normal. Just uh, just uh, clear any confusion. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, if, in case you guys, uh, want to join the, uh, let me say join, because Butler has some funny ideas. Um, <laughs> if you guys want to join <laughs> the lobby, we're in NA East Coast, and we're the Obsidian River of Power 1838. So, join us there, because that's, that's going to be, like, the official, uh, tournament thing. Uh, actually, I'm not, I'm, actually, I'm not sure if Ravecoon's even here. Uh, I think they are. They were gathering the troops earlier. Um, also, I looked up how to say come in Spanish, and it just said leche, <laughs> which I know. Oh, yes, uh, that uh... is, that, as a Puerto Rican, I can kind of confirm that. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, that doesn't I right. mean, we I mostly know. use it in an actual milk context, but not like, you know. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, so... Actually, oh, we have we've been in the lobby. We're good. Actually, let me leave so I can put in the music. So give me just a moment. Shout out to music, by the way. Yeah, yeah right. Yo, That's music. Music is lit. That guy owes me twenty dollars. It's really right. underrated. All right. All right. Let me join back online. Also, I'm also doing this just to get more eyes into this game, honestly, because this game is pretty fucking sick. It is, and I appreciate it. Alright, so, with that being said, uh, why don't we get started? Let me change the thing real quick on my OBS, because I'm actually first up on stream. There we go. Yeah, isn't it fun? Alright. Good luck. Andrew Mirror, a reminder, all the major glitches found recently have been patched out. Really now? I wasn't aware of these glitches because I haven't been practicing this game at all, but... No, that's great to hear, honestly. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me say good luck, have fun to Ravekun. <clears throat> All right. Two Nako players going into it. Doctor, are you familiar with this character? Uh, I'm actually not super intimately familiar with Murphite in general, so uh, do, do tell. Oh, no, no worries. Um, for the folks who are just joining us and they're new to Murphite, this character is kind of like Odon mixed with Fong from Street Fighter. So they have uh, Poison, they have Rekkas, an Uppercut, and as you see there, a little flip kick. Right. Right, so they got Poison Bubbles and shit, okay. Yep. Not only do they poison the bubbles on the screen, but they also can just poison their opponent in general. 
All right, looks like Ravecoon's going in for the punish. Interesting um, pop cancels there. I think it might have been a misclick. Yeah, it was. All right. <clears throat> Ravecoon's going to take the first round. We got a block and a punish. Now for that uppercut super, if you hold down, you actually can get a ground bounce instead of a wall. Wow, like... Depending on what you need for your combo. And similar to games like Marvel 3, if you do more than one wall bounce or more than one ground bounce, you actually uh, lose that property. So. Hmm. So you can see here, Alex, I believe, was poisoned. Actually, no, that was Rave Never mind. Yeah, this is a double... Uh, <clears throat> fuck, I forgot the term I can describe this character's personality. This little shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I guess I could uh, say that. Is definitely, is definitely kind of annoying. Um, they're one of the villains of the game. And they... Uh, maybe not villains. But mis mi maybe misunderstood, but like delinquent kind of types, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Ravecoon's gonna take the first game, and it's first to three, best of yep. five. So <laughs> yeah, because this is a pretty much Going short in. bracket. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, no, he's more like an anti-hero, oh, something mm. like that. I'm, I'm not sure how to describe it properly, if that makes sense. A lovable jerk. Yeah, exactly. See, like Ryuji from Persona. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, this Out of right. my way. No, as you guys seen from the trailer as we play for the intro, oh, that was actually the Evil 20, 2022 like trailer. If you can explain what that's all about. Uh, I don't know if I can. I guess we we had a trailer for Evo 2022. I wasn't involved, so. <laughs> oh, okay, I was just wondering. No, it's all good. Um, yeah, so I'm the I'm the community organizer for Murfight. Um, that's about it. So if there's something going on in the background, Matt might be able to answer that better than I. No, um, wasn't wasn't this game a part of like the indie showcase last year? Yeah, is that what, that's what you meant? Mean, yeah, yeah, that, that that that's what it was. Because I do remember like that being shown off. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? I, 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 I miss it because I wasn't watching the other brackets, but that that was a thing. Like, there was an actual indie community showcase, which was pretty fucking sick. Like, yeah, they're doing it so. again this year. I don't really? know if Matt. Yeah, I don't know if Matt um, submitted for it, but I know that he's going to be it. Either, I'm a so. fucking <clears throat> idiot. Why am I doing this? <laughs> That's alright, it happens. <laughs> alright, comboing the supers together. Oh, wow, look at that. That's nice. Okay, and Raven's gonna take the second game. 2 0 currently. <clears throat> Going to training mode. <clears throat> I think, okay, I was gonna say Raven might think it's 2 0, but. Yeah, it's, no, it's first well, to throw it away. I guess it is 2 0, but yeah. <laughs> there you go. And thank you all for taking the time out of your Sunday. It's um nice where I am at least. Heaven or shell. Lap one. Dive in. Oh, that hit. Wow, okay. Trading fireballs. <clears throat> Going high low. Okay, I got some pressure. <clears throat> Ooh, I like this wipeout combo right there. Drops it after the crouching heavy punch, though. Ooh, we able to block the end of the wreck. I just wasn't fast enough, I guess. Okay, goes for the wreck of super. And they block, but now it's safe. Ooh, still gets sort of punished. <clears throat> One fireball's gonna knock them down and poison them. Finish. And there that is. Ravecoon's gonna be on match point. I'm just realizing their little titles at the top as well. 14k hidden treasures. Venom dance. 
pretty cool little titles that Matt's added to the game. Yeah, I noticed that as well. Ooh. Oh, what? stuffs the super with a crouching jab. <clears throat> and the poison's just ticking away, and Jeez. there it goes. God damn. Ravecoon. Probably one of our best new players of the last couple months. So, congratulations to both players there. Oh yeah, alright, let me update the bracket real quick. I did not practice for this game at all. This game is weird. <laughs> yeah, me neither. It's all good. Alright, uh, let me update this. Alright, as we take a look at the bracket here, we can take a bit of a quick break. Yeah, GG's Ravecoon. I was out of practice, so I did the best I could. <laughs> Absolutely. You did well. Alright, so with that being said, I'm down to losers, losers quarter. That was actually losers quarter, so I forgot to change it from losers, uh, winners round one. But yeah, Ravecoon will be moving on to winner summers. Well, he'll be taking on against the uh, Mohaz Gritlock, but we're gonna make him take a break for that. Because next time is going to be okay. between Kale Bastine and Andrew Mirror. I think this bracket will go on very quickly, so let me update. Let me get this set up on. The scoreboard out real quick. Yeah, hell yeah. Sure thing. Uh, if everyone can give me like their <clears throat> their pronouns and their country and state and main, that'll be appreciated. I think Andrew is he, him, and Russia. Russia, okay. I believe so. So, correct me if I'm wrong, Andrew. Feel free. And and their province as well, because again, I want to be more as precise as possible. So for when I dox you yeah, guys. Yeah, for for that I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I look, I, I love doxing my players. <laughs> Kale Bastine, North America. Okay, but what country though? In, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, this is like an Moscow. Okay, does, gotcha. Does Mexico count as central? Uh, or is it, are they at all? Uh, Mexico is usually considered as NA. Okay. Yeah, Mexico is North America. Okay. Yeah, anything south of that is Central America, like Guatemala, Nicaragua, Panama. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. Panama yeah. But here, like, I usually can I put like NA, CA, and the Caribbean as one mm -hmm. entire conference, if that makes sense. It does. Most definitely. Alright, we have KO and okay. uh, Alex, if you can go off of Spectate, or on Spectate, excuse me. Wait, give me a moment. Let me. Mm -hmm. Give me a moment. And their mains, uh. Who does, who does Andrew play? Oh, King Row, okay. No, yeah. wait. I'm also, uh, for the sake of both players, I'm gonna move to Europe. Mm -hmm. So we want to get their server or their ping closer together. Oh, I'm not the uh, host anymore. KO, you want to switch servers? <laughs> yeah, KO, if you could switch to Europe, that'd be great. North America, America, my favorite fucking country. God forbid. Mm -hmm. Alright, he, him for Andrew? I believe so. All the way from Russia. This is gonna be a very interesting matchup connection wise. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is why we're going to, uh, to Europe right now. Give them a little bit more balanced. Would it mean um, that we move to Europe? Ping. Okay, we're here. Okay. Yeah. Might actually not be much better, but I think it's closer together. And who does Andrew play again? Arctina. Arctina, gotcha. Yeah. Thanks, KO. I appreciate it. Also, shout out to uh, Wolf. Uh, also, Kyo Bassin, if you want to tell me your state as well, if you want to, so I can do. Because here's the thing if you. He, this is why I asked you specifically. Are you ready? Are you ready? Boom. Here's the doxing. I'm doxing you guys, see? So, oh, uh, shit. Okay, so Kyo is from Florida. Ah, uh, there you go. Alex, right. you, gotta, you gotta stop violating people's privacy. Too fucking right, bad, alright? <laughs> there's laws about that. Yeah, you're breaking HIPAA, or whatever. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, listen, Alex, you're violating the Fourth Amendment. That means I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to hop on an airplane, come to America, and then uh, be Wait, uh, prosecuted. Wait, he is in America. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a colonial true, subject, Butler. You true, know this. True. True. Yeah. That's even worse. Now, you now you're like, America? now you're under our jurisdiction. <laughs> All right, Andrew. I'm sorry. I know you're Russian, but you're under HIPAA laws, apparently. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Alex, more like Alex on the lamb Kami, Am I right? It's cool. Neither Russia nor Florida care about GDPR. Yeah, GDPR is a European privacy. Um, Mm. Oh, okay. Compliance thing, yeah. 
Alright, we should be good to go. Uh, shout outs to Wolf TV, Matthias, and I forgot this guy's our name for, for developing uh, TSH, which is what I use for all my brackets. All right. Oh yeah, they're dope. They're on uh, FGC Network as well. Hell yeah. Alright, whenever you guys are ready, you guys can start. I thought GDPR was that news program Alex listens to in the morning. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you know, you know, good good day, Puerto Rico. GDPR. <laughs> Every morning, 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> having your bacon, having your eggs, you making your coffee. Ass mother <laughs> mother. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> colonialism by white people aside. <laughs> um, Alex is calling me slurs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's have right, a massive right. scale, Last baby. <laughs> Heaven or shell, in. let's go. Dive in. Oh, we got some air spins. I love it. Yeah, I love me a, a long-range character. Big zoning boys, mm -hmm. big-ass spear. Got that big fuck-off hitbox saying, Hey, this is my kitchen, not yours. And obviously the connection's not going to be perfect, but, you know, this game does have rollback netcode, and it's uh -huh. going to do its best to make the connection as good as possible, so... Have you 11, seen a jitter 12, spectator, 13, that in 14, mind as well. nice. And plus, this is the best that we can do, essentially. Yeah, of course. So, is that guy a stance character? I know um, he's backwards, or is he just always He's not backwards? a stance character, no. He has parries. Yeah, he's always back turned, basically. He has parries, he has uh, projectiles, he has a projectile reflect. He has this little, like, armored move. But not, not really a stance character. He actually kind of reminds me of, like, Zappa or Eddie. Mm -hmm. Like, is, is the Manta... Is the Manta, like, <laughs> controlling the host body? Is that what's going I on with him? I don't think so, but there is a character like that. Dragos is, uh... Infested with a what are those called? Um, Call, they're like parasite Call drops or something. Call yeah, they're drops. like they're, they're like those little parasite things that get inside shrimps and stuff. But uh, yeah, either way, that's the what that's what's controlling him and making him evil. But Ro is just kind of a badass who has a manta ray on his back. Cordyceps, that's it. Cordyceps, yeah, thank yeah. you. Or whatever. All right, good follow up with the uh, with the combo. A wipe gets a wipe out. Good shit there from Andrew. Mm -hmm. All right. Hard knockdown off of that. Uh. Ooh, went for that overhead. Like, yeah, that pressure. Oh. Late cancel. Oh, we DP in. Mm hmm Oh, it tries to combo into the fall, pillar. But, yeah, whiffs. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, that was like a little rollback okay. there. I almost thought it hit. Okay, we got the instant overhead, and that combo is mm. on. And combo's in the corner. Actually, my combo mid-screen, too. <laughs> Florida is the yet. lawless land of my birth. My birth. <laughs> I'm so sorry you have to be subject to such a very unfortunate fate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like Florida is... Um, Florida should be it's considered like, its own country at this point. Cause Florida, I'm so scared yeah. of Florida. Yeah, I, I know feel like you it... live in Finland, right? Oh, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, I was gonna say, it's like the, the Here Be Dragons map, you know? Florida yeah. is like Here Be Dragons. Dive in. Universal Overhead into spin. Ooh, okay. Go over to put some pressure there with the armor move. Jumps out of the grab. Oh, that was cool. She does like a. She like stands on her spear like that? Yeah, like Liche or whatever from Blaze Blue. Is there a follow up after that? Anything you want. Any. any oh, yo, okay. So it's sort of like a Relento kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You sit on your pole and juke out your opponent. That's lit. In some matchups, it like just nullifies everything they do until they have to get close to you. So at that point, you just kind of come down with a heavy uh, punch or something. There we go, we get this fun little combo here. Oh, there we go. Is that a command grab? Yep, uh, it's a hit grab technically, but yeah. Oh, okay. You can't block in the air, so it doesn't matter. Ah. Yeah. MC, oh, yep, mid, mid scream, it does convert. Although the second hit of Rekka doesn't, uh, doesn't hit, so. But Dive yeah, I did visit every person. My phone moved from Miami to Jacksonville. Ah, I see. Ooh, but so it's so an unfortunate oh. fate that you have to go to Florida in the first place, at least. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
Good zoning. Oh! Reaches towards the corner. Yep. Now follows it up with a combo. Ooh, almost picks up too. Because you can pick up after that super. And the icicle hits mid, so good block, but then gets pressured. Arctina is a menace in this game, by the way, so if you're picking it up, definitely consider playing her. Oh, good shit, I, right? Uh, Andrew takes game Andrew's two. just giving us a, a clinic, yeah. Good shit. And then that's uh, that's the set, right? First no. two right now? No, it's first, first three. three. It's first to draw away. Okay. Oh, okay. Going I'm back a Florida to man at Let's heart. Go. Hylia siempre 305 till I die. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> People and everyone in Florida is just like a GTA die. protagonist. They are. Oh my god, yeah. They're all Trevor. <laughs> what crazy thing can I do now? <laughs> or until it's underwater, I guess. Oh, that's a sad fact, sadly. Yeah. But at least uh, New York will go under too, so. <laughs> Damn. Hey. New York will never die. Too much crazy shit happens in that city. Listen, do you think they're gonna do like Venice and just like put floaties on all the buildings? Yes. <laughs> yes. Listen, we got pizza. Give us pizza, we got pizza. You need to remember, Mohas. Give me pizza or give me death. As a, as a, as <laughs> I remember that. Father, as our founding father is intended. <laughs> Listen, yeah. did you did you hear that guy's second video, his second viral video where he's like on the news? <laughs> he's with he's with like fucking um God, what's his fucking name? I don't remember his name, but he's on that that fucking morning show on Fox. Oh, um man. like they have yeah, they they had him call in and he's like talking about climate change and he's like, Oh yeah, listen, there's uh there's a great ball of fire in the earth in the air and it, her name is the sun and she controls the weather. Not pizza. It's not man-made. It's sun-made. This climate change, and I'm like, oh, this guy. Everything this guy says is a hilarious bit. Yeah, it's like listening to my father, except endearing. <laughs> that is kind of a fact. Oh, yeah, go. we do have high mountains in the center, Blue Minder. <laughs> Give us pizza. Oh, there we go. Got the urchins out. Cake or death. Oh. Good super. Gets the ground bounce, but he didn't pick up after it. <clears throat> Maybe we just wanted the timing. Ooh, that little combo was interesting there. Yeah, remember, you don't have to block those icicles low. There you go. Andrew's going to take it. 3 0. There we go. Good oh, shit. Yeah, Two 3 zeros in a row. Dang. Okay. Let's keep it going. Got some killers in bracket. Hell yeah. Alright, can we switch back to US East? Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, you know, we got real carnivores swimming around, you know? Thank you, KO. When you get a chance. Alright, take a look at the bracket. <laughs> hey, oh, uh, Alex, hey, um, I have a question, I have a request. What's up? Can we, uh, can we call winners great white bracket and call losers guppies bracket? Or something oh like that? fucking <laughs> Uh, Andrew, can we switch to U.S. East? <laughs> no, I wait, hang on. Out. Oh my god, hang on. I need to go look up... Uh, give me a sec. The median, that is the top. The midline on the back's right. And... Shout out to the bubble, bubble Guppies, by the way. That one show on Nick, <laughs> on Nick Jr. That, that was actually... It, I don't know if you guys noticed, but that's actually... <laughs> Like the prequel to Murphite. I I would not know, but yeah. Right. I Alex, I got an even better one. Cold winners the dorsal bracket, and losers the tail bracket. Mm. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being called tail, I guess, but. All right. Let's so I'm gonna get my ass beat by Ravecoon. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. All right. Here we we, is... we like to do. Idiosyncratic, um... Idiocy, you mean to say? Yeah, I mean, well, it, idiot syncratic, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me get this underway. Alright, Ravecoon from North Carolina taking on against Mohas all the way from Massachusetts. I can see their IP addresses are on the screen <laughs> right now. Oh no! Now. <laughs> Hack my Skype. 
Since before this version, Arctina had a bug that gave her infinite armor. Imagine dealing with that really now. Holy shit. Yeah. Shoot. She did not need that. Are y'all playing? Okay, you guys are playing. Yeah, let's rock and roll. <clears throat> Dorsal semis. Mm, Shut the fuck doesn't. up, Butler. <laughs> Sounds Yo, yeah. curl brackets, good too. Oh shit, look at the skin! Yo, look at this skin! That's sick. That's actually I've pretty sick. I've not seen that before. Yeah. We're right, both wearing so we'll uh, things GG from the, and... the story mode. Oh damn. Oh, of course, yeah. Oh no! Oh, that was a cool reset. I see Ravecoon has been practicing this stuff. Oh, damn. Good aerial combos here. That's a punish. Oh, I didn't block, or push block, excuse me. Oh, I didn't have any meter too. Okay, so I was just dead. Nice. <laughs> that's a fuck- <laughs> yo. Last two. The fucking- the fucking scorpion wind pose. The classic. Mm -hmm. I love it. Oh, that's such a good flash kick. Oh, nice super. All the cube. Oh, I got hit, yeah. Okay, oh, I went for a grab, and I got hit low instead. Midair scramble. And I got low again. See. Yep. The resets! Oh, dear! <laughs> so those were all standing low resets. And I went for a grab each time, thinking that I could... Now, here's the question. The grab comes out in four frames. Is the standing low a four frame normal? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, KO, can you get off, um... Or go on spectate, excuse me? Get up up on that thing. Yeah, get the fuck out of, get the heck out of the uh, arcade machine. It's not your turn yet. Oh, <laughs> that machine. <laughs> Dude, just imagine playing this on a on, on a candy cab. Oh my god, I oh, would have yeah. a blast. That would be so much fun. I can't wait to go to Japan and have this at an arcade somewhere. That would be fucking sick. Cause I knew, mm -hmm. I do know, like there's a Japanese community for this game. No waves yeah, for sure. Are crashing. Lap one. Alright, so just to make sure Mole has this on player two side. Yep. Oh, nice link. Nah, that's punishable. Oh, good. Oh, nice cross up. Oh, shit. And we're going oh. for the reset, standing low. No, I'm blocking that shit now, bro. Hell yeah. Right, and that's punishable, beam. yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Big Beam Scratch feels low. good, but he's got them recovery frames. All right, he'd be, he be glowing. Oh no, the super I tried to uh, uppercut out of it. Nice shit, KO. Oh, so Oh, close. you're still alive. Holy shit. Yep. Oh no, cross up. Oh, the cross up. Yo. Yeah, this, this, um, this Odom is really good. Going on play is immaculate. Oh, and I got hit by this by something. I don't even know if it was a low. Ooh. Okay. Just eating all that poison though. Oh, oh alright. Go for the dive kick, nice. <clears throat> alright, Mohas finally takes a round. Damn, when you put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. Dive in. Oh, I love that standing low reset so much. Oh no, I thought it was gonna grab me. Why'd I think that? Yeah, and that's punishable. I gotta never do that. Maybe Dora beat that into me. 
like. So what, what does his hands glowing indicate? Is that some kind of he's resource? He's, okay, oh, okay. Yeah, and that's universal. Anybody with a charge move has that um, kind of special effect going on. Oh yeah, they no longer have that link. I got a, I got a link in the uppercut. I told people after they, after I made that nerf suggestion, they were like, "What? That's gonna ruin the link?" And I'm like, "Come on, any good player can just go in uppercut." And then I forget. <laughs> okay, so this is two O raise. Okay, great. Damn, raves resets are really good. I'm looking for him now too, but the waves of fate Okay, switching up the costume. Damn, what the dive fuck? in. This is sweet. I haven't seen any of these costumes. This is like King Row Odon or something? Oh punishable. Damn. Yep, this is a oh such a cool combo. Oh? Nope. I suck. Oh, nice universal overhead. Oh, what? A fudge? What I was doing? I don't know. I think I thought I had meter. Oh, nice super. Boom. Oh, I thought I was close enough for the grab. <clears throat> and they were. It's gonna be another 3 0. God damn. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm just getting boxed. No worries. Lap two. Dive in. Nice punish. Alright. He's going for that cross up, not getting it. There we go. Okay, very nice. With the spiral arrow. Oh, oh no. Where's the uh the laser? Ooh, gets punished for that though. So what? Dorsal for winners, and then what was it for losers, Butler? Um, <laughs> Tailfin. Tailfin, gotcha. I can't believe you're committing to that. You can blame Butler. <laughs> I am. Listen, just be glad that I'm just be glad that I'm using the colloquial term for the tailfin and not the actual scientific classification. <laughs> you don't want to hear what the rear fin of a fish is called. Mm, I, mean, I, bet. I don't. Oh, I got fucked up. I Good mean, game, Rave. Uh, well, it's called the anal fin, Alex. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think <laughs> you want to call it the anal bracket. So. Alright, so we're gonna go back to the <laughs> anal bracket of this bracket. We are. <laughs> Winners felt like the anal bracket, so. <laughs> Alright, so that's where you are, right? There right? we go. Yeah. Good games, Rave. That was dope. Showing a clinic on how to play uh, not only Odon, but this game in general. Oh, definitely. Tons of high level talent at this bracket so far. Hell yeah. All right, let me update no the bracket real quick. Uh, Rave continue at 3 0. Moving on into the dorsal dorsal finals. Dorsal, dorsal hell, finals. Hell yeah. Oh, I will be right back. I'm just going to take a quick bio. Yeah, mm -hmm. no worries. Dorsal quarters. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll see in a bit. <laughs> Dorsal semis. If the Dorsals. anal bracket is the lower bracket, then we can conclude the upper bracket is bl blanks. <laughs> I wish I could show high level play for this. Play. You, 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 you actually did like a you actually did a good job at that, uh, Ravekun. That was some good ass shit on stream. Dorsal. Tournament is called the Shocker. <laughs> okay, anal. Am I actually gonna? No, I'm not gonna call it that. Tail fin quarters. This is the stupidest shit I've ever fucking done. Tail fin semis. This is important, guys. Trust me. Tail fin finals. Now here's a question: what, what 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 would we name uh grand finals, Butler? Ooh, um, 
Let me think. Um. Actually, you know what? Yeah, Great White Finals. I no. <laughs> Great. Wait, is Mohaz back? No, I I am. Wait. Yeah, what's up? What's up, Matt? Oh, hey, Matt. Hello. Howdy. We're calling. We're calling this the anal bracket. Please don't. No, I told you, tail fin, not anal fin. God damn it. This is why I don't tell you things, Alex. <laughs> All right. How's it going, Matt? Pretty good. Fish and chips. <laughs> Says Andrew. That's a suggestion. Fish and chips. All right. Tournament's called the Shocker. Hell yeah. Alright, so next up on stage is going to be between your host, Mo, Alex Alchemy, and, uh, Kill Bustin. Alright. Let's sort it out. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. I'm ready. Um, Kale, whenever you're ready. By the way, <laughs> tail thing. <laughs> That's so funny. By the way, you know what? Um, Cold Grand Finals, Poseidon Finals. I already named it to Great White Finals. Okay. Yeah, you know what? That works because the GR. Okay. Wait, Kale, are you ready? Why is it not like. Oh, I need to get out of spectate. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get underway. Heaven or shell. Heaven or shell. Dive in. Lap one. Let's fucking go. All right, a little bit of a scramble, got a bit of a back and forth going on. That's nice to see, all right. Here we go, going for the DP, hits it. Got some lows. Gotta go to lows, baby, hell yeah. All right, DP's to get out of the corner, there we go. Making his great escape. It's like that movie, like that movie Rayman 2, The Great Escape. All right, got the launcher. Going in, going in, trying to get that cross up in the corner, but can't. All right, we're getting DP'd. That's right. Double penetrated. All right. Blocking very good defense. Up and down, high and low. There we go. All right. Finish with the low. All right. Kyo takes the first round. We're going into lap two. Diving in, baby. All right. Little, little bit of zoning. Doing the side switch. Very nice. Oop. Oop. Went for the cross up, didn't get it though. His opponent was uh, low profiling by, you know, being on the ground. Got that, that is a cool looking attack. I like that. Big ass stalactites. Or they stalagmites, I forget which is which. Height is from the ceiling. Okay. Hi. There's gotta be like some sort of mnem mnemonic device to remember that. Bye. Ooh, that was a really good catch in the air. Excellent oh, read. There we go. The throw! Yo! Okay. Okay, another throw. Side switch. Got him. Oh, yee. We're clutching it out. Both players very low on life right now. Love to see it. Mm-hmm. I love a clutch mesh. There we go. Firm into super. Hell yeah. And didn't need to kill, because if uh, All right. ground mounts happened and they didn't kill, you could still follow up. KO puts a point on the board. We're 1-0. Uh, Let's keep going. Here we are in the Obsidian River of Power in the year 1836. 
38. What are you talking about? No, you're oh, so yeah, yeah. Jesus. Right, right, of course. And you're an American. <laughs> Yeah, right? The, go the gold rush. That we're in San Francisco right now. We're panning for gold. I'm actually curious where geographically this game takes place. Everywhere, I'm guessing. Ooh. Or maybe uh, Atlantis, I, I'm not sure. I, I guess the Pacific Ocean? I don't, I don't know. That probably make sense. Matt's over here just like, yeah, okay, guys, whatever. <laughs> not shut up. Sure. Matt's just like, shut up, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, I feel that way sometimes. People are like, what's the lore like? I'm like, I don't know. But it's more <laughs> about it. But the story mode is actually really dope. Matt's been putting a lot of effort into it, and it shows. It's a, it's a really cool amalgam of, like, um, Soul Calibur 2's mission mode thing, and, um, well, kind of like a visual novel. Hmm. Cool. You get branching fights, and some of them are like narrative, some of them are actual fights. Hell yeah. I, I like when, uh, when in the single player modes, when they got, like, weird gimmicks. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, in Soul Calibur, it's like, oh, one of you is two feet tall, and I'm like, yo, okay. <laughs> yeah, when he was Ant-Man, and the other one was, was, you know, made of metal or something. <laughs> or the stage is slippery. You're fighting in quicksand! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you have to do your taxes. <laughs> one of you has diarrhea. That's just like fighting in a... Uh, Putting Bo right? That's a yeah, yeah, game. right. Uh, <laughs> That's why answer. do I keep doing those DPS? First oh, to three, bladder burster battle. Up. If you're going to wake up and you press K, you'll do a DP. That's automatic when you do it. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a there's a reversal timing, like a window in which if you press K, you'll do the reversal. If you're trying to do something on wake up, just wait a little bit longer and then. Do it instead. Oh, I actually did not know that. All right. Yeah, no, it's all, it's all good. <clears throat> I I want to actually talk to Matt about that too because there's a a window for reversals and then there's a window for rolls and I have a hard time getting out of the window mm -hmm. for rolls when when buffering things. So like, I won't get a reversal, but sometimes I'll get a roll because I'm doing an input and trying to buffer it on wake up. But that's that's like very minute detail. All right, KO is getting those air spins and uh, making good use of them. The air spin sounds like nausea you get from going in an airplane, but in this case, it's actually a special move. All right, we get a grab. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I, I like that KO is using the urchins to block the fireball. But, yeah. uh, Roe also has a projectile reflect with both punches, so that, um, it's actually unblockable, and it, I believe it has infinite durability. Correct me if I'm wrong, Matt, but... Oh. Oh, I did- God damn it, I did it again. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Getting in tune by those urchins. <clears throat> you ever- you guys ever eat sea urchin? No. Yeah, I had a Japanese restaurant once. I, I gotta say, nothing to write home about. Yeah. It tastes it tastes the way the ocean is. To me. <laughs> like you know, it's yeah. like yeah, it's like imagine a clam, but like less flavorful and more like salt watery. You know, it's kind of <laughs> like not great. It's like, it's like having an oyster, but worse. Yeah, I understand. Well, I like I like seaweed? oysters, but like what's up? Yeah, seaweed. I love seaweed. Seaweed is nice, especially you know, it's a... when you eat it in, su in sushi bars and such. Oh yeah, I need that's to get a good shit. I was like that literally just well. eating seaweed before I hopped on the mic, like because I have oh, like right. some nor I have some nori oh, snacks no! from Japan Village. Yeah. Oh, Yo, no! I think that's oh, you taking it. Hit you? With, yeah, it is. Okay. Killed him with. Oh my god! Turned you into a fucking statue. Mm-hmm. It's marble, baby. What I try, I don't. So that that really just fucking stunned me because I was trying to activate my projectile super. Uh. 
So does that does that actually stun me? Like that one attack? Was that his parry? I, I think I saw the parry. Is that what you mean? No, I mean like he hit me with something and I could not move. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know about that. I wasn't paying enough attention. Sorry, I'll check the VOD and DM you. It was a <clears> super <throat> kick, says Wraithkun. Super the, kick. The what, like, kick. John Michaels? Oh, oh, okay. That's what I'm I Jonathan mean. Jonathan Michaels. Yeah. That makes sense, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, Sean Seaweed and like, MSG, oh music. hell yeah. We chin music, whatever. Uh, Andrew Mirror says, Seaweed is Metal Gear Solid, hell yeah. <laughs> I thought it's Delicious Madison Metal Square Gear Garden. Solid. Oh yeah, you're right, I'm so stupid. So like, the one Japanese person I met in Japan was named Nori, or at least that was their nickname. <laughs> and so it got really confusing, because he, he would also show us to all the restaurants in Kobe. <laughs> and so we were like, chatting about food and his name was food so it's like weird but yeah that's funny yeah it's a good time <laughs> all right coming up next we're gonna do wave kun and andrew just a moment damn all right andrew it's up to you whether you want to do um you want to switch the server or not <clears throat> listen I, I love i love when i go to a chinese restaurant and the new york rangers are there all <laughs> <laughs> <know>, right <laughs> right Alright, looks like oh. we're going to Europe. Colonizers. <laughs> they're the colonizers that y'all fucking are. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. I do my best. <laughs> Alright, so looks like we're gonna have Ravecoon and Andrew for dorsal finals. Looks like yes, get listen. Door. When when you're in Europe and you wanna call white people crackers, you gotta remember to call them biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta Skin. hit him with the Limp Bizkit mix, you know? <laughs> you oh my god. Stop me. I, I love the, this color palette for Arctina. Yeah, that's- that's uh, yeah. She really doesn't have that many costumes, but she has some cool color palettes. She looks oh, like cookies and cream. The waves she does, yeah. This costume is new for Atlas as well, it's kinda- It's kinda- also, what does it remind me of? Um, oh, Hades. There we go. Oh, true. Also, Valen has- Valen has a question in chat. Opinions on fish sticks. Oh, I, I love them. Fishy sticks are my favorite. Oh, what's his name now? I don't remember his name. Um, oh, the guy from Morrowind. I don't remember. Not Morrowind, sorry. Elder Scrolls. Valen oh, uh, says, says that makes you a gay fish, Mohas. Yes, it definitely mm. does, yeah. Todd Howard? Yeah, Todd, Todd Howard. <laughs> yeah. Todd Howard showed up at my door yesterday. Really? And, uh, How was it? Yeah, and he... Well, he told... Well, uh, great, he's a very passionate lover. Anyway, he gave me a copy <laughs> of Fallout 76, and he said, please, please. <laughs> oh, Wake Up Reversal beats the fireball, or the icicle. Lap two. Or balance. Ooh, super to try to punish something, but Andrew Mirror is helping. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, his name being Andrew Mirror is like throwing me off because I keep hearing Andrew Mirrors and I keep thinking Anju Mirrors. <laughs> oh, Anju Mirrors, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know what happens. When I I'm surprised. That... I can't think of. I can't think of any fighting game character named Andrew. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, there is an Andrew. In um, Sam Show Six, which we're playing at 8:30 oh, today. Okay. Yeah. There we oh, go. Yeah. Speak, speaking of colonizers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was talking to somebody about that. I'm like, my name's Tom, so I'm like, I, I don't can't think of anybody named Tom that's a fighting game character. And somebody was like, what about the Tom and Jerry fighting game? And that was like, you got me. You got me. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, what? there's actually, actually, there's three. He's in multiverses. He's also in Fist of. Uh, Fist of Furry and War of the Whiskers. Why? Why is Tom and Jerry in three fighting games? That's two. That's three more than it should be. More, yeah, Mortal Kombat 12. Exactly. <laughs> He's a cameo fighter alongside Omni Man. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> He's gonna be a striker in King of Fighters 18. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, by the way, they're bringing strikers back. Yeah. How do you know? Does your uncle work at SNK? 
Um, no, actually, um, my, my brother is Jesus and can see into the future. <laughs> ah, gotcha, my apologies. Mm -hmm. Oh, that armor is brutal. Ravecoon is just using it to their, uh, well, to their advantage, I guess, yeah. It's the most boring thing to say. <laughs> I wouldn't want to stand in that light. What does Honestly, that do? <laughs> it heals both players. Oh, it, it heals, heals your opponent. okay. Yeah, because it heals cause... your opponent, you get armor. That looked like an orbital laser. Yeah, yeah. It I thought it was gonna blow the shit out of whoever's like standing there. So you can also blow it up, yeah. <laughs> you can also blow it up, but naturally it heals. Naturally, we called it Data Raid. Wow. <laughs> Does anyone remember that commercial? Uh, yeah. Actually, no. I have no idea what you're talking about. I no, just it was like the way you said Gator it. Commercial. <laughs> they just talked about like how Gatorade was invented. Like, we were in Florida, and people were sweating. That's what we called a Gatorade. Like, okay. Those people are hot and dry, and they want something cold and wet. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go, there's the healing, but the armor... Wow, so the armor happened... Oh, the combo, good conversion! And it still didn't drop the combo. That's really interesting. Matt, can you, can you speak on that? Oh my god. I just saw a genocide cutter, yo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Atlas has those uppercuts. Oh, you see him, the mid-screen conversion from Andrew. Whoop. Picking up what you're putting Good down. Good shit. So this is um, just one round each, or are we... Yeah, one are round we what? Oh, okay. okay. I didn't know if there were any other games that I had missed, because I'm... I don't know. I'm in, like, some fugue state right now. Murph fight makes me go crazy. Uh, not, not gonna lie, at least, like... I don't have to play in Rivals because replay reasons. I'm just taking a chill for today, so. No, God bless. Hell yeah. UF is very proud of their Gatorades. Oh no, they <laughs> are. That's like the birthplace of it. Yeah, for sure. Alright, good conversion. <clears throat> oh yeah. Almost going towards the wipeout. Oh, doesn't get the wipeout though. Apparently, Florida is also the birthplace of the. Uh... The bumper sticker with Calvin taking a piss on stuff. Really? <laughs> yeah, in like the 70s or whatever. Florida is a place of all time. Mm -hmm. It is definitely a magical place for all the wrong reasons. It's like a multiversal constant or whatever. Like, no matter what happens in the multiverse, Florida exists. Exactly, in any way, shape, or form. And, and it's just like, it actually really ties it up. I think this is the first so non 3 0 game. Oh, so, so they are one match each now? Yeah. Okay. So, Blue Minder in the chat made a typo and they wrote Andre Jackson, and all I could think is Andre 3000 Miss Jackson. <laughs> no, Andrew, Andre Andrew 3000 dressed up as Andrew I Jackson. I am for real. Andrew. <laughs> Andrew meant to make it all cry. Yeah, this is going to be our first non 3 0 of this entire bracket. Oh, new skin. <laughs> and the switching from Don't Atlas to. Uh, this guy. <laughs> Yo, okay, why does this stage remind me of that one stage from Guilty Gear XX? I was just thinking that. Like, when, yeah. you, when you fight Eno, like in that boss battle. Mm hmm. And like the weird red mist world. The bloody hell What place. is this Ooh, stage? Got what the fuck? Hold on. It looks like. <laughs> These stages oh. Like whale bones or some shit. Oh, you know, I think I know where this is. This is Florida. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it, yeah. This is Florida. Uh, no, no, it's the Bermuda Triangle. I know, that's easy. Oh my god, what if the Bermuda Triangle is like Florida after all the flooding? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a reverse battle royale. Instead of the ring shrinking, the Bermuda Triangle is just growing. Yes. <laughs> Forever. God, battle royale is a Shit, 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 shit. Ooh. Why is there screaming in this, like, stage? Is there screaming, or is that just me? Welcome to Stankonia, people. Oh wait, is that, like, Ooh, Niagara okay, getting hit? Firm. Yeah, probably. Okay, yeah, I'm getting confused. I'm like, wait, why is there, like... <laughs> that! The fuck was that? <laughs> was that Dino Rex? <laughs> oh my god, yes. Speaking of which... No. <clears throat> Haha, uh, uh, I'm so glad that I, like, fucking muted all the soundboards. 
<laughs> Michael Jackson noise. <laughs> yeah, that one's really funny. I don't know what the egg is. What is the egg? Why am I toxic? It's being toxic. Why are you being toxic? Oh, okay. No, it's when DSP says that. Why? Why is he toxic? Mm. So yeah, why are you guys being fucking toxic? Uh, here, have some, have some college. Gex the Gecko. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Have some John Handgun instead. <laughs> John Handgun. <laughs> this game is fun and all, but I hope you guys use this Murphite experience to practice for the upcoming DSP Memorial, where we have to play... This, be, <laughs> this is gonna be like the biggest PS1 Super Turbo bracket of all time. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That's, that's not a bad idea. We should do... Fucking, let's have like a fucked up console ports event where we just play like we play like fucking yeah like Super Turbo but it's on PS One yeah, and like VSav but it's on PS One <laughs> like PS One Marvel One. Oh, we um, should do that. Actually, guilty, <laughs> guilty Gear Guilty Gear X One on Game Boy Advance. You mean Advance? <laughs> yeah, Game Boy. Yeah, Guilty Gear Advance. Whatever it's called. Play Dreamcast Super Turbo with all the dip switches changed up. Oh boy, dude, more fighting games need dip switches. They should. You know, I'm actually literally looking at Vampire Chronicle on Dreamcast like right now. Like I was playing it a bit before we started, and I'm too lazy to turn my Dreamcast off, so I've just been Ooh. like kind of like Ooh. seeing in the corner of my oh, eye. Oh, good shit from Andrew. Yo, no way from uh, Drake actually. Hell yeah. Yeah, so it's now uh, Rave Coon up two one. against one. Match starting in zero seconds. Let's go, baby. Nako versus Arctina. All right, it looks like we're switching sides. Imagine this being a PS. When are you guys gonna do a PS One port of Mer Fight? <laughs> I would love it, like a a D make. Yeah. That yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah, with like all the polygon. Like, yeah, yeah. Just like super stripped down. That'd be hilarious. I think you guys can add that in the game in itself, actually. <laughs> I mean, I'm and not gonna say what what Matt can or can't do, but yeah. Honestly, you know what'd be kind of fun? You guys could just hire me to do, like, the PS1 artwork. There we go, yeah. Hey, you know what, Alex? If you do it and give it to Matt... <laughs> we could do it. Oh, chip kill! Chip kill! There's, there's the Virtual Fighter GD... Oh, right! Actually, Match of if you can give me like the PNG, like transparent images of those characters, like the polygon ones, you just give it to me and I could do like a proper PS1 like cover. North America though, not Europe. No, you guys don't exist, alright? What's Europe? Exactly. Al? Because we're all Al. friends in Europe. Aww. <laughs> is this? I love this watermelon flavored Nyko. This is cool yeah. color as well. So for some reason, I'm gonna be real with you, Valen. I actually thought you said Coco Melon. <laughs> he also looks like he's like diseased, a little leprosy. Like. Yeah. Le Leprotic? What's the word for that? Besides fucked up, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, look at these but combos. But I got a lot of Palau instead. <laughs> Look at this, confirm from Andrew Mirror. Jesus. When Love the to world see it. is in high definition, you have no pals, says Blueminder. Damn. <laughs> Ooh, blocks it, but gets pressured anyway. Yeah, actually, oh, I shit. think, I think, they kind of drop, like, pal, pal is at 60 frames now, right? Like, in HD. Like, they don't do the 50. Does pal when, when most of consoles are region free? Like, so the thing, the thing about PAL is it, it was a different method of encoding the um, the visual broadcast, like the frequency. Yeah. Um, and it was at 50 hertz instead of the NTSC standard used in America and Japan, uh, which is 60. So like you'd see in like a lot of older games that were released were released in Europe, they'd be like Perfect. slower by 16 percent. Murphy. Like, hey, oh. Yo, Murphy. for the win. Fuck yeah. Three one. Hell Wilder. yeah, GG's. Let me update the bracket real quick. Hell yeah. Perfect. So, Murphy. like, anyway... No, wait, wait, how about this, how about this? Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> no, we... So, Matt, we're going back to the studio and doing some points, because uh, we need to do that. Oh, my God. That, wait, you mean like, the perfect voice? Like, that? that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to do all those lines. Somebody also said, uh, 
instead of slash, we should do splash. <laughs> Yo, splash. So, yeah. Like Yo, that'd be sick. Yeah. Heaven or shell. Like all yeah. these fucking underwater ass. <laughs> wait, wait. All right, all right. I got it. I got it. Heaven or shell. Pool one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. That'd be fucking sick. Yeah, you guys should put a splash for the KO screen. I agree. Mhm. Mm That's really good. All right, uh, all right, Andrew. Before... Uh, what's your plan next? We switch off of Europe. Okay, while we do that, I want we should. Why don't we shill some stuff real quick, shall we? So oh, this okay. is gonna be a short. Trader Joe's is pretty cool. Yeah, uh, shout out to Trader Joe. So visit your. I don't know if we have one in. I'm gonna check. I'll see if we have one in Puerto Rico. I don't think so, but you can check. Yeah, might as well. Hell yeah. In the meantime, uh, I just want to let you guys know that what you're watching here in Scramble Scramble, the third kids network, is Super Slash Brothers number eight. This is the eighth edition of me and Toast Riders Monthly. Which, if you guys don't know, we always do these on the last Sunday of each month. If you guys don't know, we do a Samurai Showdown bracket, a Rivals of Ether bracket. Those are our two main games. And, of course, a bonus third game that rotates each month. It could be anything from Fightcade on Steam to random shit we play on Parsec. Anything goes, really. So, with that being said, this is the July edition. Uh, as you guys can see, we're playing Murphite as the bonus game. Do not forget, at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be doing the Rivals of Ether base cast bracket. Uh, that's going to be hosted by me here on this channel at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do have, I believe... Six players from the last t the last time I remember. Let me check. We have here, yeah, we have six players actually. Also, in lieu of Smash Factor X, which just did a very hype um rivals bracket for Latin America. Shout out to Rivals Latin for promoting all my rivals brackets. But yeah, that's gonna be at 7:30. Can't wait to actually host that. And then at 8:30 p.m., we're gonna be taking it over towards my good friend Toast Rider for some Samurai Showdown Six. That's gonna be the 8:30 part yeah. of Super Slash Brothers Eight. So if you guys want to participate, exclamation point SSB and register. And with that being said, uh, don't forget that we do have Act Six. I already confirmed, so I guess I can say this is the sixth edition of my year. Day of my uh, super major. This is pretty much like the Alex Alchemy like super major, I guess at this point. Hell yeah! Uh, if you guys don't know, it's my uh, yearly charity uh, week long event that I, for now I'm going to be doing at October. Uh, we do have some confirmed games, including uh, Sam Show Six, Street Fighter Six, and Cyberbots, and much, much more. So there's going to be a crap ton of games. I will say those. Tune in at least after Evo. At least two weeks in advance because I think I might actually announce like the full lineup. Are you ready for hell that, yeah. like Butler? Oh, hell yeah. And that's also going to be yeah, opening yeah, like registrations. So stay tuned. That's going to be on October 23rd. <coughs> Date is coming soon, so stay tuned towards early next month as we give you guys more yeah. uh, info. And if I'm not mistaken, I think there's an event before that, isn't there? I don't, I don't think you gave me, like, the, the poster. Oh, shit. Let me give that to you right now, but just so you have meantime, it. in the meantime, that's actually not going to be the only thing I'm going to be busy with in October. If you guys live in Puerto Rico and you guys love Rivals of Ever, then I'm proud to announce I'm going to be hosting the Rivals of Ever bracket. Rather, streaming it as well as part of First Attack Puerto Rico 2023. That is right. That's going to be from October 27th to the 29th, taking place in the Puerto Rican Convention Center. As you guys know, I'm going to be streaming the Rivals of Ever bracket. We're going to be doing it singles, doubles, and maybe even more. Because we're actually going to be planning a, a lot of side events for this awesome game. So, uh, yes, this is actually going to be the very first bracket that, not offline-wise, that I'm not only going to be streaming, that, well, I'm not only going to be hosting, but also streaming myself. So, this is going to be a very exciting time for me. Uh, again, October 29th to 29th, let's just say October is going to be a busy month for Alex Alchemy. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, you hope, stay tuned for more info. I'm actually going to try to get registrations up later tonight, so stay tuned for that. I was planning to go to First Attack in 20... Really? Not? That's unfortunate. If you want, Bloom Minder, uh, I'd, be, I'd be happy for you to come down here for this year's First Attack. I think that'll be exciting. And I think that's about it. We don't have the slide, but Butler, while we get the setup, why don't you chill? Uh, still thinking real quick. Well, uh, actually, I just sent you the slide. But, um, yeah. 
Yes, yeah, so um, s September 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th, uh, as you know, 9999 was the uh, American launch of the Sega Dreamcast. And to honor what is objectively the best gaming console ever created, we're doing Still Thinking 2023. Um, something that I hope, if it's successful, I want to keep doing every year because the Dreamcast is my favorite console. Um, it's got a lot of fucking phenomenal games. Um, you know, if you love fighting games, then the co that's pretty much the console for you. You know, we got um, we got Dreamcat, yeah, we got uh, CBS Two Marvel, we got Sonic, we got Power Stone, Soul Calibur. We're gonna have Vampire Chronicle, um, which is really cool. It's kind of like the Hyper Street Fighter Two of Vampire Savior. It's got all the Darkstalkers characters, and the there's like all these different grooves um, based on every single game. It fucking rules. It's great. All right, we're, we're also going to have some cool uh, panels, some like non-fighting game stuff we're doing. Um, we're uh, <laughs> we're going to play through Sonic Shuffle because we're masochists. Um, we're doing Toy Commander and Choo Choo Rocket. Um, our friend from the Frog Crew, Ed, is going to play through every Dreamcast fishing game. We're calling it Ed's Big Fishing Adventure. Um, you know, that's going to be a real hoot, a real blast. So, you know, he head over to my website, um, follow me on Twitter. Uh, for uh, updates, you know, like every couple of days I'm going to drop a new trailer on Twitter uh, announcing a new game that we're going to add to the lineup. Uh, you know, it's a slow trickle feed, so check it out, all right? What about Ill Bleed? That's a good idea for uh, Still Thinking 2024. We might do Ill Bleed. Hell yeah, this is all But yeah, check it out. This is kind of Hell yeah, actually. baby. Four straight days of non-stop Dreamcast, well, almost Dreamcast action. Uh, we will, I'm actually going to start w working on the event page in a bit, but it's going to be coming this September, so stay tuned for more info via Dr. Butler. Is that right, Butler? Hell yeah, absolutely. Yep, DrButlerEvents.com and at Butler's Revenge on Twitter. Let's go. Alright. Now, coming up next on stream is going to be between Kill Bastine and Mohaz Grilla for Tilpin Semis. Let me dox him real quick. So it's going to be Florida versus Massachusetts, as we see their IP addresses right there. Alright, whenever you guys are ready, you guys can start. All right. Tons of great events. And also, stay tuned to later tonight. Uh, we're going to announce it. Fuck, fuck it. I'll, I'll announce it, like, during the Rivals of Ever bracket. Where we have a very special event for August. That's going to be hosted by me and Otro Yoshi, so stay tuned for more info, because this is actually going to be very exciting. Pass or skip. That is a fish. Lap one. That is a Dive fish. In. I fuck with it. Yo, Style, welcome to the stream of fish fighting each other. We're here in Tailfin Semis. How's it going? That is definitely a fish. Shout out to the fish, by the way. I really like that costume for GG. Bit of patience with these footsies. Oh, gets the conversion. Finally gets something in with the pop cancel. It's, it's oh, good conversion with the spinning super. I'm a fish expert looking at this one appearance. I can prefer that is definitely a fish that lives very deep in the water. You know what I'm thinking of? That one creepy as fuck stage that's all red. I'm guessing that's like... the. Oh. I got that pun, Arcana. Jesus fucking Christ. I will say though, I'm guessing... Matt, you can confirm... You can... You can confirm if you can't, but... Uh, I'm guessing that one stage, the red one, is takes place at like the bottom of the Mariana Trench. So that'd be kind of interesting if we had like a a stage that's like very deep in the in the bottom of the trench, it's all black and such, and very creepy. Unless you already did that with like that one other stage that we played earlier. No, it's a it's a story mode stage. It's not quite done, but it's supposed to be like an afterlife type thing. Oh really? Damn. Yeah. So you fucking died then. Ooh. Finish. Oh, gets it with the low. 
Mohas takes the first game. Nice. I really like that skin. What's that one submarine horror game? Oh, Iron Lung. Which I'll be, which I will clarify, literally came out many months before Ocean Gate happened. Let me just clarify that out of the way. <laughs> That's just some very unfortunate timing. But yeah, no, Iron Lung's the one you're thinking about. <laughs> Alright, going to the library. Oop. You're trying to do I I I I know. I just wanted to clarify that away because I know there were people that are unironically like I'm guessing there's some dude like like unironically blaming Iron Long for like what happened. But yeah, no, Iron Lung's a good game. I only watched a Pyro Cynical video about it, though. Finish! Alright, Mohawk's in the first round. Why are you so mean to the... the fuck? One, two... To the... Ten... Ten million mares. <laughs> uh... That is so. That was a stupid way to spell a millionaire, but I, I, I'll take it. <clears throat> we'll get pressure there from uh, Kyo. Ooh. Oh, good conversion into the super. Getting the pop cancel in and getting the follow ups. Not quite getting the wipeout that he wanted. Trondi goes for some chip damage. Oh, the laser. Good pop push. Finish. Oh, and gets it with a dive kick. Mohas taking another game. Get yourself a wife who can reset a combo like that. Well, there you go. There's Mohas for you. <laughs> Are you talking about GG? I, I get... Yeah, GG. GG's also one as well. All right. Not wasting any more time going into game on number three. You're already I really love Passer the scale. Slap one. I, I love Dive the voice acting in this game. Is that a biblically accurate like sea angel that I see in the background? I now just realized that. <laughs> Biblically accurate ice and angel. Ah, gotcha. So I'm guessing we're in the afterlife of some sort as well, as Mad mentioned before. Ooh. This is a pretty neat stage, actually. Ooh. A good dive attack. Ice dimension. Ah, gotcha. Or I guess with the air to air, Mo has now on match point. Lap two, dive in. Oop, let me let me change this real quick on OBS. With a spinning super. Holy oh, shit. A little bit of zoning there from uh, Moha's side. Oh my goodness. Oh, he gets it with the spiral arrow dive kick super, and that's gonna do it. Moha's takes it. Clean 3 0. G fucking G's, y'all. Alright, let me take a look at the bracket real quick while I update it. Give me just give me just a moment. Yeah, that was a, that was some fun matches. GG's, especially towards Mohas.
No, nah, GG's to KO as well. I mean, they, uh, they've been a huge proponent of this game for a hot minute, so I really appreciate them not only, you know, spreading the love, but, like, uploading videos and doing all that stuff, so it really shows, and I appreciate it. Hell yeah, you love to see it. All right, give me a moment. Let me update this. Alrighty, so Mo has moves on to Tailfin Finals. We'll... He'll be taking on against Andrew Mirror all the way from Russia. So let me all right. prepare that real quick. It's going to be Tailfin Finals. Going over to Europe. <clears throat> Alright, let me dox these two real quick just to let you know the difference in, um, in location, rather. So yeah, as you can see, Massachusetts to Moscow. That is quite a distance. But thankfully we can make it work, so. Uh Ravekun says try US West, uh Mohast. You guys are ready, you guys can start. Oh, never mind. Looks like we're switching. Oh, I didn't see it, but did it make it worse switching to US West? Oh dear. Yeah, it made it way worse for Al uh, Andrew, so. Gotcha. Andrew, Andrew, if you're ready up, then we're good. Otherwise, I'll switch to something else, whatever you want. Mohas was like 120 old years. <laughs> That's not good. Are you guys starting? We are starting. All right. Tail fin finals. Let me drink some of that freshy water real quick. Leave my son. The waves of fate are crashing. Lap one. Uh, Dive in. Remind me to drink water, guys. I I feel like that's one. I feel like if there's one PS, if there's like one funny thing you could do, Matrified. It's like you guys should do like a PSA of all the match of, of all the Murphy characters like telling you to drink water. Cause that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, okay, well yeah, don't drink seawater. That that's not good. That, that I don't think that'll be healthy for you. <laughs> but you you get the sentiment. Good super. I didn't want to do a coaches that would coach with things like take a break. Wait, what do you mean by coaches though? You mean like those support thing, like that support feature from like Persona 4 Arena? Whoa! What happened? Okay. Uh. Wait, did I get kicked out? What the fuck just happened? You lost my. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I guess I, I got kicked from the lobby or something. Damn. Who was host? Kel Gamer was host. Okay, that 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 was weird. All right. Well, All right. um, since I was game one, you guys so, can just start over. So it, it, it's it's yeah. I don't mind just starting do. over. Yeah, that's totally fine. With me. Oh shit. Oh, really? <clears throat> no, I, I, I just came back, but then I remembered I forgot something. I'll be back in a sec. Bro. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't know what, uh, what was there, but. You don't look. <clears throat> the waves of. All right, starting oh, over. All right. Part two. Dive in. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> okay, so. This might be a hot take, Valent, but the sun is alright, I guess. Like, I have, like, a big-ass bottle. Like, a big gulp Dasani bottle. Simply because my one water bottle ran out, like, fucking ran out when I was working in, like, 100 degree heat. So I literally had to walk all the way to, like, the nearby gas station just to fucking buy it. I could have picked any other, like, big water bottle, but this is the one I, I, I got. And plus, I, I filled it with, like, other water as well, so. Oh, shit, you got me with a low. The one oh. low. Aw, oh, damn. 
the Roblo. Cabron, Valen, I've been fucking drinking water this entire time. That's why I always say hydrate. <laughs> Need to chill out. Right. So for yeah, real, she's kind of a Yes. <laughs> oh, nice. Universal I overhead. already mostly drank the Dasani part. I filled it up with actual water, like Valen. I was gonna say, isn't Dasani mostly like salt or some shit? Is it like? I heard they put salt in their water to make you want to drink more, like sodium. Do we but I think sure a I lot of. A lot of things do that. Oh, nice roll punish. The way I made sure I drank water <clears throat> in high school was filling up one of those 7-Eleven Extreme Gulp. Wow, that is a way to hydrate yourself. You're based. Literally. That is a lot, yeah. Way better for me than when I drilled it with Valtactos. <laughs> I mean, hey, Mountain Dew is fucking based nice as well. Mountain Dew is like the goat of all soda drinks, in my, in my opinion. Yeah, no, Dasani, Dasani is bad, but... Just, but there's this one Swiss brand. I don't know the name, but it tastes better. And even then, even if I unfill it, I'm just mostly gonna I'm just gonna use this as a sunny bottle nice simply punish. because like it's it's like big. Nice. <clears throat> Back up. Yeah, it's Avian. I think it's Avian. Ambien? <laughs> oh my god. Ambien, yeah. Ambien tastes fucking sick. God, fucking nice roll punish. <clears throat> Trying to get out of your pressure and you just turn around immediately. Oh yeah, no. <clears throat> uh, Alex Hogley PSA, fuck Nestle. Nestle can go fuck themselves. Yeah. Fucking privatizing water pieces of shit. You should privatize these nuts for life fucking care. Agreed. I'm not sure if we're speaking about the same um, water as Mohas takes that first game. I've never drank water before. Really? Damn, are you still fucking alive? <laughs> oh, I mean, I eat, I eat a lot of cactus. Oh, gotcha. So, uh, Avian yeah. water. No, it's not Avian, no. No, Evian is friends. What I'm referring to, I don't, I do not know the name. Ah, gotcha. But no, this other one that I also saw, it has like a Swiss logo, like the Swiss flag. Oh, nice reversal. Not gonna lie, like Alps water is probably like the freshest thing you will ever fucking drink. Mm, I don't know. Goats, goats pee in it, right? What? I'm just saying. Alkasize. I think that might be it. Alkas. Alka. Alkali. Alkalize. Nice jump and punish. <clears throat> Yes, no, it's it's uh, it's Essentia. It's Essentia. It's it's Essentia water. That that's the one I'm I referred to. Yeah. Hell yeah. By the way, a chat. Mo has with these dive kick supers. <laughs> oh, oh, nice punish. <clears throat> Wait, part of your simmer? You mean like the legs or the actual fucking spring? Cause. Like the Sam, Alex. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> oh no, I thought we would both try to do reversals. I don't know why, but... So, Chad, uh, what's your favorite water? Oh, um... <laughs> what? Holy... Holy water from Castlevania. Um, <laughs> I, I'm a fan of fresh because I like not dehydrating. <laughs> so fresh water. Not, so yeah. anything that's not the sunny, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's stale water. Sits on the shelf for like two years. Fresh water from Pokemon. 
No, I got punished because I'm dumbish. Helsinki tap water. Interesting. Hail Satan water? Yeah. Well, Helsinki right. tap water. <laughs> oh, hail Satan. <laughs> Distilled has it. Yes, dis yeah. yes, you're right, Matt. Distilled <laughs> has its uses. Like, for example, having horrible diarrhea. Don't they give distilled water to babies? What's that baby water stuff? I don't know, but I do know that distilled water, like, is horrible for your digestive tract. So that's probably not what they give to babies, then. Never mind. I'm gonna stop talking. Someone get this man dense water? Yeah. No, I mean, that's what I'm saying, man, is you're not supposed to, but some people, like, try to. And then, yeah, it doesn't end well for dense water. <laughs> you mean ice? On road trips, I'm gonna get gallons of that baby water, yes! Like, wait, you mean, wait, baby water is like those very <clears throat> tiny little bottles of water? GDLA. <laughs> I don't know. Naturally, we called it Gatorade. Ah, uh, well, that's sports <laughs> people up? water. And hey, listen, sports people PDLA. <laughs> all these people talking about baby formulas, and I'm like, babies ain't smart enough to do math, smartass. What are you talking about? Oh, hey! Okay. The gallon jugs with a baby on them? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's, exactly that's uh. Distilled water, isn't it? Like no, drink. that's no, that's baby liquid. It's made from babies. <laughs> Fuck, Andrew Mir. It's that. not yeah. vegan. It's cannibalism. It's I think it's one one or what yeah, am it's I? One. What? Okay. Yeah, because we had a reset. That's what can, that's what's confusing me. Yeah, no, reset, reset, now this is game three. This is game three. A speed run reset. Yeah. We're like, ah, oh, I didn't get the perfect frame one thing. I got a reset. There we go. I have never seen. I think I've seen it. Oh, now, now I'm looking at it on my other monitor, and baby water. So I think I've seen these in like those like preschool like shops and such. What what what's the difference between that and regular ass water that's not the Sunny? Like like <laughs> regular what? water that's not the Sunny is what we have to all say until the end of our lives. Yeah, it's, just, it's the only way to describe this. <laughs> so that's it. I, I, like the difference is it's just basic ass water. Like there's no yeah, basically. anything about it. Like I get you pregnant. That's all I'll tell you. <laughs> I, I have so lost track of the plot. We were talking about water. Uh, I've noticed. <laughs> it's this still. Like, what does that mean? Like, it means uh, water in its purest form. Oh, like, gotcha. still my beating heart. Just still my beating heart. So, yeah. water without any any preservatives or some shit like that. Without any water. Gatorade, yes. Gotcha. <clears throat> so that's baby water. All right. Uh huh. That, that only babies can drink, that we grown-up adults cannot drink. We're not allowed. Right, see, Valen gets it, that's what I was saying. It's made from babies. They take babies hey, and hey, put hey, them hey. in a blender, oh, and then... Them. Yeah, yeah, oh, you okay. squeeze them. Dude, <laughs> squeeze them. dude, that's... that's, that's let's, just, let's just stop this conversation before some <laughs> conservative dipshit telling us about we're promoting, like, yeah. getting water out of babies, because you know they actually believe that shit. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna get really mad about my clever new slogan, Abort Your Thirst. You're <laughs> 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 gonna, gonna have your own radio station someday, it's gonna be awful. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Alex Alchemy's, like, tournaments, where commentary has nothing to do with the fucking game. Yeah, listen, well, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be like... To the game. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be like Howard Stern, except I actually wash my hair. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but since you mentioned it, here goes nothing. Uh, shout out to Howard Stern's penis. <laughs> what the fuck, Alex? <laughs> game respects game, you know? You don't know about that? Like, the amount of people called in to, to C-SPAN just to say shout out to Howard Stern's penis? No, I don't actually, what? I don't watch C-SPAN. Well, you sh well, you should. <laughs> no, I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna skip that whole thing. Do you think people watch C-SPAN for the actual, like, when congressmen and women, like, vote on shit and panels and said, Nah, it's the prank calls, baby. I watch it for the <laughs> Yeah, man. right? Hey, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, my name is, uh, Jim D Davis from Dayton, Wisconsin. And, uh, I gotta say, I'm, I'm really upset at uh, how hard my water is. I think you guys should do something about the purifiers. 
Um, <laughs> too much baby. Yeah, you see, the thing is, my water is so hard that it becomes a solid because it's um, <laughs> it's I Wisconsin. Not staying on the plot, and you're. Oh, wait, why am I going to change stage? What am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> we're still talking see, about. Yeah, we're still talking about water. <laughs> talking about the Midwest. Yes. All, all right. right so you know what? We're gonna get back on task. I just want to say that the where I was trying to go with that joke is he thinks hard water means ice because it's frozen. Mm -hmm. That was the joke. No, anyway, let's let's <laughs> let's carry on. Let's ignore that. I have okay. no issue with not talking about the match. This is funny Look, that like right after you. Match or fight? <laughs> when when we gonna get like Murphy themed water <clears throat> at Evo? Oh my god! Yeah, I that's a good idea. That's illegal in Las Vegas, actually. Oh fuck! Oh yeah, true. It is a desert. Yeah, shout out to Eva for actually having like free water. Since that's a problem that needed to be fixed apparently. Yeah. Like apparently fodder well, had to be paid for. They had to kill all the pedophiles first, and then you could pay for water. I mean okay. Yeah, you know, fair. listen. The guys who run Evo, you know, like there there's a scorpion, there's a cobra, there's uh, an armadillo. They're just you know they're Pokemon. desert guys. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Pokemane. Yeah. Well she's also an armadillo. Um, Pokemane is an armadillo. Yeah, you know when you when when you go to the hotel when you go to the Mandalay Bay, there's like a a, a snake there and he's like, I heard you're here to play Street Fighter. Oh. Just doing, you know, desert stuff. Wait, Bloomer, did you go to Evil last year? Yeah, because I I'm guessing like Oh god, because unfortunately on it, on there's it. just one meme where Mono pays like a bit more extra for his events for water. <laughs> Alright, so Mo has <laughs> now on match point. I don't know anything about this game. Oh, oh yo, Kuma. Where's the vampire savior bracket? Oh, In the cactus! Right. This is vampire savior. You did this run is vampire savior. What do you mean? Com. Oh yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, this is vampire savior. Definitely. Uh... Okay, here's a very important question, guys, from Valen. Who do you guys think Mordecai and Rigby play in this game? Oh my god. Hey, no, you know what? This game is actually Vegas Shrimp... This game is, a uh, Shrimp Scampy Savior. Oh, good come No, what is it? Uh... Mordecai would just play, like, the hottest character, and then Rigby would just play, like, the fucking... the spammiest character. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes... yeah, that... that... that makes sense. Uh, no, more- you guys didn't you? Hey, shut up, man! I think Rigby wouldn't play any character, he'd like, give up immediately after he Ooh. loses once. Oh, he would definitely rage quit. Nah. He'd be like one of those Smash players that just throw their fucking controller down the ground when he loses. Nah, like, he'd ah! rage quit- Nah, he'd rage quit, but then go- But he, like, he would rage quit, but then hit the lab. <laughs> Uh-oh, back to the lab again. <laughs> he'd be that dumb, yeah. uh, dumb- White boy trying to throw hands and I don't know, I feel I feel like Mordecai would say you need to hit the lab and then Rigby would say okay and then we cut to him chasing a dog with like a bat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's that a, a, that's every single fun, episode yeah. of regular show. It is a regular yeah, show. Right? Right? No, that's the tameless episode. The real episode would just be fucking what is it? Them fighting or like, they were ordered to like take out the garbage, and for some reason they're fighting a Jesus head with baby all legs. Alright, alright, no, here, here's, alright, so here's how the, the Murph fight episode of regular show would go, right? So, they run the set, Rigby loses and gets mad, and runs outside, and uh, his, his immense salt uh, summons um, Footsie Lord, who is like a guy with a cape and a fight stick no, no, for no, a head. Just, no, no, it's a fucking Justin Wong PNG. <laughs> the one that I'm rolling on the ground? Yes. No, actually, it's, it's actually it's or like with like a fucking uh, hat. Oh, it's it's yipes! It's yipes wearing a magneto oh, costume. Oh my god! Oh oh! This is gonna kill. Damn. There it is. Yo, the game is shit. Right, I hope you make your bets. Oh All yeah! Right, Here we go. Chat. This is, this is. All right, and Mohas takes it three one. GGs. I don't know any of these characters. I get. By the way, thanks. Uh, what is it? Alex showed me this yesterday, but thank you to the devs for donating a hundred dollars to the match arena. Oh, absolutely. Out of the DL Hell yeah! yeah. yeah look the, at this. Out of the VLP budget. <laughs> thank DLC you so much. Budget. Yeah, no, I even showed because me and Kuma were at our locals last night, 
And then I saw Matcher Fights retweet where he said, I hope you don't mind me like putting something in a Matcherino. I was eating like hot, like boneless buffalo wings from Wendy's. Eating and boneless like... buffalo wings. Isn't yeah. that just chicken nuggets? Yeah, that's yes. literally chicken nuggets where you add buffalo sauce into it. That's that's a thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah that's a funny thing. The fucking wings from Wendy's are literally just nuggets from Ben Maison. Brave, can I get uh, can I get host or can you change server to US East? Gracias, mi amigo. Garrett, Bobby, Ferguson, yeah. Lord Footsie Alex, would be. Can I have host or can you change the server? Cause... Oh, I'm host. Yeah. Oh, give me a moment. No, it's okay. You're the host now. What? Lord Footsie is that image of fucking Daigo with a bag of Cheetos. Oh, oh my, my god, god, I love it. All right, give me a moment. Uh, so where do you want me to change it? U.S. East. Okay, gotcha. Uh, Thank you. Change server. Okay, it is on U.S. East. It is on U.S. East. Can you play the Jaws theme? No, it's in it's in your it's in Europe. It says oh, up at okay. the top. Confirm. Region Europe. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we should be Rusty, good to yes. go. Okay. Wait, does this game have wait, does this game have rollback? Yes. Yep. Uh, so oh, right match there, five. Lobby's online rollback. So feel free Beautiful. to tell Kuma more about this game. No. It's a fighting <laughs> game. No. Yeah, yeah, it's a fighting yeah. game. No. What a you know, I want to buy. It. Game, I want to buy it for myself and then just figure out my just figure it out on my own. It's on Steam and Itch and Game Jolt. Um, it's kind of like a combination of Street Fighter EX and a little bit of KOF. Um. Yeah. yeah, I'm very I'd bad agree. at describing my own game. No, I would just, I would agree. Oh wait, you made this game? Yeah. So I'm the, yeah. Yeah, we have the developers here. The developer here. Oh shit! I was gonna say I'm, not, I'm definitely not the developer at all. Yeah, he is a community manager though. I'm just yes, a douche that is... likes the game a lot. That's all. <laughs> he is a very important part to the game. And but I just played the game a lot. So how I even got a job? Uh, you have to jump. Is that what you said? No. It's not. Uh, you somehow got a job, I was like, I just like, oh, me fighting it, uh, and I'm getting paid for this. Yeah, yeah, I love it, right? Hell yeah. This is, you know what? For the next oh. local that I go to, I, we never had the opportunity to play, but I'm, re Akuma, I'd be down to play this with you, like, sometime the next local that we play. Fuck yeah. So yeah, here's the thing for context for our locals. It's basically like a meetup that's yeah. basically a bi weekly. Since Puerto Rico, since Puerto Rico internet is kind of bad. We literally like twice, like twice a month we go and meet up. Yeah, and the thing and the thing is, it's also the same month in the same place where Mono usually practices with like Mena RD and such. And yes, Mena RD does come. Nice in grab. Rico. So yeah. Oh, cool. So, in that same area, uh, me and Kuma, we were just playing EX3 and, uh, and fucking Marvel, Marvel 3. Fuck. That game is for Psychopaths, I swear. <clears throat> like, I swear, every time I beat Alex, I swear I'm gonna break his controller. <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck do I even do? Because <laughs> most of my Marvel, Marvel experiences is like, anything before Marvel 3. Oh, UMC3 is great. That's a yeah, good game. it is a good game, and it's chaotic as hell. Yeah, yeah I already taught him the horrors of Deadpool Grenade. Mm -hmm. Deadpool, Deadpool is such a dumbass character, I swear to fucking god. <laughs> oh, it hits low. Alright, but now back to this match. Uh, Ravekun already taking the first game. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna have to reset if I want to get any... Uh... You know, money. So. Yes, remember, this is Great Brilliant. White Finals. Dun, 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 I'm just looking at it. Is that like a. Oh, what? It's kind of like beam. Is that like a total con type of thing? Yeah, it's actually a healing beam, but then you can also detonate it. Okay. Also, this music is fucking jamming. Lap 2. Dive in! Wait, wait, Shaq, can you put the game on sale really quick so I can buy it? 
Yeah. It, it was on sale during the Steam Summer Sale, but I think that ended. It's like worth the twelve dollars. You get a, It's a dollar per character. Yeah. yeah. I, I just I thought you possible. Like I literally said, like me thought you could possibly like a twenty dollar. I was like, okay, I could buy the game. Uh, the Heavenly Light. Damn, I can't believe how that. Shut the fuck up, Beavis. <laughs> Call me a fucking white supremacist. <laughs> yes. Fighting games if they were toothpaste. Yeah, nice chat. Finish. Oh, oh the no! Air -air. If there's a tagline to this game, or fight, it's like a t it's like a toothpaste. Uh, Beavis, this is for 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 your ass, all right? Why am I toxic? Why am I toxic? Why am yeah. I toxic? Damn. Why are you guys being uh, toxic? Dude, gonna... Uh, because we don't have the CHD. Because I'm gonna lose. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm now seeing what what um. Uh, Mo has and to Joey. Unfortunately, no, there is no tra tra Trader Joe's in Puerto Rico. I fucking um, hate this. Uh, can we get Arby's? We, we do get Arby's. There is one near San Patricio, Kuma. No, uh, there's one in San Patricio and one in Bayamon. Yeah, I do know about the Bayamon one as well. I think those are the only two ones as well. Oh! The and now there's one in... There's one in Plaza America. Also, wait, so there's skins for this game? Yep. There's costumes. Are they like unlockables? Are they, are they unlockables or like right from the get go? There are uh, some of them are unlockable somewhere. Yeah. Sorry, Matt. The one, the, the Atlas one is unlockable. The Halloween Angelique one is free. Oh, okay. There's no DLC at the moment. I kind of want to do, I don't even know if, I want to add four characters. I don't know if I'm going to do DLC for them or not. Like, I, they might just be included. Depends. Try to get the Nintendo crossover and add in side arms. Oh, let me turn you up, Matt, uh, cause you're a bit low. Alright, there you go. Okay. Oh! Wait, so the jellyfish is- it's like a floaty John Talbing? What the fuck? Uh, I don't really think of it that way, no. So, more like a Cause... blue zoner. I mean, cause it's all the- Yeah, I think the John Talbing dash thing. You mean Beast Cannon? Yeah, Beast Cannon. No, I don't think she has a Beast Cannon. It's more like Modok super head oh, thing. And that is no, it. Ladies and again. gentlemen, boys and girls and fishes all around the world. There you go. Brave Coon from North Carolina is your Super Slash Brothers 8 Hell Monthly yeah. Champion for Murphy. G fucking G, hey. y'all. Jeez. That, that was some good that was a good show. Okay, sorry. Instead of letting the gentleman so you can do scallops and mollusks. Really took us fish to school, huh? Literally. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. God damn. damn. Well, Got grilled and seasoned on top of that. Yes. Now, this has been a very short, but a very exciting bracket all around. Congrats to everyone who who, who made it to top three. Because remember, this has a $100 prize pool thanks to the developers. So this is actually the highest in this monthly's history. Holy shit. Here you go. Good games. Yeah, as you can see from the bracket here, only two. We only had two matches that actually did not go 3-0. This game is intense, so this has been very, very fun and very, very exciting. So, uh, shout outs to Ravekun for taking first place for being a champion, followed by Mohaz Grillo for taking a very respectable uh, second place after having a very good losers run. And then Andrew playing all the way from Russia in third place. GGGs to everyone, honestly. I just want to say thank you guys for so much for just coming out here and I know you guys are probably glad that I'm like I'm showcasing this game more and I believe more people should play it so uh, Matt tell us more about this game man where should we yeah where should we play it and all that to, stuff. to every indie fighting game developer ever you want your game showcased to send a code to Alex he will showcase the fuck out of it oh I will we will play RB a lobby night or a bracket I'll do whatever it takes but uh but yeah um do you want me to just could you really quickly talk about some upcoming Murphite stuff? Oh yeah, you can. yeah, let's go. Yeah, that's why that's sure why I, I'm waiting for us. Oh yeah, sorry, I, I you were breaking up on my end, so yeah. Um, we, so we have, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, Matt, but we have a Kumite coming up next month. This just kind of took the place for the Kumite for this month because you know we 
we don't want to distract from uh, other events that folks are uh, hosting. Oh, really? But we'll probably, yeah, we'll probably host uh, Kumite next month as usual. And then uh, September is going to be a busy month for us because I believe we have a tournament scheduled uh, where we will have a $1,000 pot prize. A pot Whoa. Pool, pot pool, proof prize pool, one of those. Yeah, whatever words are. Um, I'm working with the organizer of that to get all, all the info straight and get the challenge set up. But yeah, we have those coming up. Um, I know Matt is going to Evo, not to necessarily show off Murph Fight, but to, to show off another project they're working on. Um, I don't know, Matt, if you want to talk a little more on that. Yeah, um, I'll be going to Evo to show off Drag Her um, with that team. So that will be that will be my Evo. <laughs> nice experience. So that will be. There you uh, go. There's the there's the mystery announcer. Yes, <laughs> that is not. So, yeah, that is not the mystery announcement. Fortunately, um, <laughs> but yeah, that's. I think Tom pretty much summarized or Mohas pretty much summarized it pretty well. That uh, <laughs> Kumite in August and then the Cloud Chaser tournament, hopefully in September. Yeah. Um, We'll see how that goes. That's going to be exciting. And I'm working on the game. My hope is to get it out of early access before 2024, but the biggest time sinks have just been the story mode stuff because that's a lot of content to implement. So it is, yeah. I'll slowly be working on gameplay polishing and may even look into updating the netcode, but that is a big task, so I need to estimate how long that's going to take. But uh, yeah. Unfortunately, GDPO is no longer free access. Oh, it isn't? Wait, it is it's not? I don't think so. I don't think so. No, so Can Ryan I, I, it's been a while since people who, like a dev used to, like the GDPO logo. Uh, well, I'm not, I'm not using that regardless. Um, okay. Because of that reason, but uh, no, and I'm too stupid to figure it out. But <laughs> too stupid, but you wrote your own. Yeah, I wrote okay. my own. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah there we go. Uh, I think that's all. <laughs> no, I don't know, work harder, not smarter. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> yeah, I think that's. That's about it on my end, I think. I just, I really appreciate having tournaments. They help, you know, they help me learn some stuff and then I enjoy see, and I enjoy seeing people play the game, um, hiccups or not. So thanks for yeah. coming out and Hell thanks yeah. for hosting. No problem as always. Uh, I, you can tell I fell in love with this game immediately ever since for Crab sure. did that one stream back in 2021. If you guys remember and, that. Um, oh, I do. And yeah, shout out to the ACP crew and on most of the Puerto Rican community, they are. They're awesome. Um, oh, I want to yeah. just quickly mention that if you are going to East Coast Throwdown in Connecticut this year, there's a chance that I might be there with a setup. So come, come play some Murph fight if you're in the area. Actually, uh, by the way, Mac, can I add you on this because I want to do some game test stuff later. Oh sure. All right. Oh, yeah. Actually, I am going to ECT this year, so I will be seeing you there. That's awesome. Well, I'll be there, and hopefully I'll have a setup that can run Murphy better than the one I currently have, but Hell either yeah. way. Well, I'm well, going to be bringing some DVDs, so, uh... Hey! Hell yeah. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Stay tuned to All see right, a well, certain thank you so much, Alex. ECT. No problem, and hopefully for First Attack, uh, I'll be able to represent... I, I'm, 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 I'm an unofficial shill for Metrify games. I'll still mm -hmm. try to bring, like, a Murphy setup for, like, the Bring Your Own Console thing that I'm trying to do for First Attack. Which, speaking of which, uh, before we go, well, why don't we shill it out real quick, so all you guys know that this has all been part of Super Slash Brothers number 8. The bonus game of this month was Murphite, thanks to Matcherfight and its community so much for your support over this. I really appreciate it, especially because of the Matcherino, which we'll get to in just a bit. But, with that being said, don't forget, we are not done here. No, we do not, because coming up next here on this server at 7 30 p.m eastern center well technically 8 p.m because replays they can be a bitch sometimes uh stay tuned because at 8 because at 7 30 we're going to be doing a rivals of ether base cast this is oh, actually yeah. going to be the first of my quote-unquote road to first attack series where we practice for the upcoming major uh, rivals of ether bracket that i'm going to be streaming this october after act six of course but that's going to be at 8 7 30 p.m eastern center time we have six players for that so we, we still need a lot more players. Uh, shout out to Rivals of E for Latin America for promoting it. And then over at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're gonna be handling it over, we're gonna be handling over to my good friend Toast Rider, who's gonna be uh, hosting the Sam Show 6 bracket, as always. 
So 7.30, Rivals of Fever base cast, and then one hour after that, Sam Show 6. That's going to be tonight at 7.30 and 8.30 p.m. respectively. So if you guys are interested in registering for those, type in exclamation point SSB and sign up for all the upcoming events. Hell yeah. And then don't forget, also in October is Act 6, Alex Alchemy, Sherry Thing 6. Don't forget, this is going to be this October... Uh, I'm not gonna give any detail, too much details on it just yet, but just know that, just wait until like after Euro for like a very special announcement in regards to Act Six. Is that right, Butler? Uh, you're, you're cutting out a little bit, um, but yes, Alex, Act Six is gonna be lit. Um, I know everything about it, um, and I gotta tell you, like, um, we're we're keeping a lid on it for now, but. You're gonna fucking love what you see once we announce it. Hell yeah. yeah. I, could, I could confirm there's gonna be Sam Show 6 and Cyberbots though, since I already confirmed those, so... Stay tuned for more oh, info yeah, true. after that. Oh yeah, and that's Sonic R. Can't wait for that, Alex. Hell yeah, Sonic R. But speaking of Sonic, one thing that we can tell you more about... Well, that's not it. That's not it. There you go. Still Thinking 2023. Take it away, Butler. Oh, uh, hell yeah. So Still Thinking 2023 is my old Dreamcast Online Tournament series. Uh, it's going to be taking place September 7th through the 10th uh, to celebrate. I, I believe it's going to be the 24th anniversary of the Sega Dreamcast. Um, I believe so, yeah. Your 24th in America, yes. It would actually be the 25th in Japan, but it wasn't. It, it doesn't matter. The point is, we got Marvel, we got CVS 2, we got Sonic Adventure 2, Power Stone, Vampire Chronicle, we got Soul Calibur, we got Dead or Alive, we got Rumble Fish. We got Choo Choo Rocket Toy Commander, Ed's Big Fishing Adventure. We're going to catch some bass. We're going to catch some marlins. All right, so check out my website, drbutlerevents.com, and follow me on Twitter if you want some more information. I'm dropping hints every week or so. Every couple of days, I'm going to post a new trailer revealing a new game um, with some pertinent details and stuff. The uh, Everything's going live, the challenge. Um, yeah, the sign-ups and everything is going to be going live soon, so check that out. Remember to um, to follow me on Twitter and bookmark my pinned tweet to keep tabs on that, alright? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And then speaking of October, another thing that I'm excited for this October, especially if you're coming here to Puerto Rico for First Attack, is I'm going to be hosting the Rivals of Ever event for First Attack 2023, which will take place between October 27th to the 29th in the Puerto Rican Convention Center. Outside from Act 6, this is another thing I'm mostly getting excited about for this October. Uh, this is actually going to be the first time I'm going to be streaming an offline bracket, so it's a big deal, you can pretty much just tell. Hell uh, yeah, yeah, actual live gameplay. <laughs> yes, actual Hell live yeah. fucking gameplay. Like, I've, I've, I've TO'd offline brackets in the past, but this is the first time I'm actually streaming it myself. Yeah, so, it's, that's gonna be lit. So, I will confirm we're gonna have singles and doubles, and maybe even more. So stay tuned, because me Hell yeah. and a few others from the community are working on some logistic things, but uh, well, I'll, I'll be able to announce them soon. And hope, hopefully, some of you guys who are watching this who also love Rivals can come here to this wonderful island and play some good-ass yeah. Rivals. Some good-ass Rivals. All right. That's what Alex need another commentator for Rivals hit me up. Wait, what? If need another commentator for like first attack, hit me up. Oh no, you you are definitely invited to. Trust me. All Fuck right. Yeah. So with that being said, any last words before we raid to our possibly fraud crew TV? Um, uh, I said everything I, I need. need. Hmm. Unless. Ooh, hold on. Uh, maybe not just yet, cause there is one homie I want to shout out. And we're gonna be raiding over to my good friend uh, Griffy Bones, the uh, the goat himself, because he's currently streaming you know, his the uh, One Piece guy, the the One Piece dude, yes. <laughs> also from Pittsburgh, like me. Hell yeah, hell yeah! Shout out to the Pittsburgh Wait, FTC. Which I need to go back into that again because apparently he found some Brook Tech, and I'm like, okay, is Griffy Bones live? I don't see him. Yeah, he's live. He's currently hosting Victory. He's hosting like a, a tournament. Oh, he's already crossing Dirt Strike actually. Yo, lit. All right, the dude that plays 3DS One Piece. Yeah, that's the dude. Also known as the Virtual yeah. Fighter dude. <laughs> yeah. All right, but with that being said, uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna be bringing over to Griffy Bones. But with that being said, uh, tune back in here to 7:30 at 8 p.m. for Rivals of Ever. 
But until next time, I have been uh, Alex Alchemy. I am your resident quack doctor of Luma Radio. And we will see you guys later tonight for Rivals of Ever Basecast. Take care, y'all. Take Stay care. Safe. Adios. We'll be right back. Hell yeah.